At 9 a.m. Friday morning, the camp streets of Mombasa was disrupted by protesting University of Nairobi students who are seeking answers on the killing of their colleague. They applied justice for one Samuel Odemba, a fourth-year law student awaiting graduation in December whose life was cut short after leaving a drinking den. Odemba, in the company of his cousin Kennedy Onyango, met their untimely death in Topanga Kisauni constituency on Tuesday morning. After a night of merrymaking, the two reported to have been drunk are said to have failed to identify their motorbike and instead boarded another one parked close to theirs. It is at this point that the owner of the bike raised an alarm attracting locals who pounced on the two beating them mercilessly and later lynching them <laughs> the students condemning the act by the residents blaming the police for laxity odemba was killed in a heinous manner and this Very act heinous. should not have been done to samuel odemba the people should have seeked for other ways of solving such an issue but not taking the life of a fourth-year law student who was awaiting his, his, his graduation. And the people who did this to Odemba, action must be taken to them against them. They must be put to, and brought to book. Because if they walk like that, we'll have more deaths, and we don't know who will be the next comrade to be killed. Odemba <laughs> Na si Odemba peke yake wamekufa watu wengi wikendi, wamekufa watu wanne kwa mikono ya mbob injustice kwa hivyo sisi tunasema haifai na wale waliohusika tunapatia polisi 48 hours washikwe kile siko watu wanaoawa ni wa Kenya wanaoawa na wajambazi wanaoawa na police wanaoawa na, na vigilantes na police hakuna hakuna watu yote Mombasa County Commander Johnston Ipara has since condemned the move taken by the residents, promising thorough investigations into the incident. Juni Karisa for Channel One News Hour from Mombasa County.